Hello guys, um, I'm going to try to explain how to use the local media in Steam ROM Manager. Uh, you can for example use the media generated by Emulation Station Desktop Edition. So first you need to run Emulation Station Desktop Edition. So I'll show you where it's located. You go to uh, your root folder. If you're doing this from uh, installation from SD card, of course, uh, which is the case in, my, in which is my case, then you go to uh, Run Media. There is Media. There you have your SD card, and under Emulation Tools, there is the Emulation Station uh, app image, and you can just right-click it and choose um, now you can right click it you can move it to your desktop and it will ask you to create a link here and then you say create link and it says it already exists because I already did it so now that you have emulation station on your uh, desktop you can run it and normally uh, it doesn't have any media but I already uh, scraped everything so I now have the videos I have screenshots for my games so if I wait I have the screenshots and I have the media and the way you can do that is by going to uh, scraper selecting screen scraper uh, adding your account here in account settings and uh, then selecting which games you want. If you select all games, it will scrape all games. And if you select no image, it will only do the games that doesn't have an image or video yet. So it takes a long while to do this. It took two days with me for my uh, ROMs. But once it's finished, you don't have to do it again. So it was already done with me. So now I'm going to tell you how you can uh, use this data also for Steam ROM Manager. So as you can see, when you go to the home folder, then emulation station, it will have downloaded the media here in downloaded media. And if I take, for example, Atari Lynx, you can see the 3D boxes, you can see the back covers, uh, you can see the covers and stuff like that. So to, to use this in Steam ROM Manager, you first start Steam ROM Manager. You go to one of your uh, scrapers that you want to use it. Let me check which one I will use. One that isn't too big. Let's say Atari Lynx or so. Where is it? Here, Atari Lynx. So normally with you it will be enabled, but I disabled it with mine as I use custom co configuration. Then you go all the way to the bottom and you enable show advanced options. Then, if you don't want to use uh, online image searching, you clear this value just by using backspace and it's empty. And then you can go to the local images and the local uh, tall images folder. The local images folder is horizontal grid, the local tall images are your covers. So now all you have to do after you have scraped in Emulation Station Desktop is go to the folder where Emulation Station saved these pictures. So let's go to Downloaded Media, Atari Lynx. So which one was I selecting? The grids. So as grids, I will use the mixed images. Okay, select folder. Um, it, it will have created something like this. But the final title is not what we need. You need to change this to file name. Be aware, it's case sensitive, so the F is small, lowercase, and the N starts with uppercase, like this. And then you can have a PNG, JPEG, JPEG or uh, uppercase or lowercase extension. You do the same for the tall images, but the tall images we can use the covers. So you, again, you go to the home, emulation station, uh, download that media, Atari links. And you select the covers folder. And again, you go to the end of the file name, to the end of the, the setting, and you change final title.
to file name. File name is the ROM file name without extension, and uh, the the other the other setting it is using by default is the name of the game. But because emulation station saves the the PNG images, the scraped images, uh, uh, matched against the ROM names, you have to use the file name with the PNG or JPEG extension. And so now you save this, and if you go to do your preview now. And you click generate up list. Let me first close Steam if it's running. Yes, it's running. So I'll close Steam. Ale, no, it's closed. So now uh, it has normally find ah, font. I didn't enable it or I didn't save it. Let me try again. Generate up list. Oh, it doesn't find my Atari Lynx for uh, games, and that's because. Let me check. Uh, I need to go to the media folder. User, I'm not sure what it's checking. Let me check. The ROMs should be. It's all correct. Ah, here seven zip. Let me go this way. Normally, you should not do that. Maybe I took a wrong example with Atari links, but. Uh, ROMs, Atari links, it's zip, it's neat. So let me copy this. Normally, you don't have to do this, uh, it should be set up correctly. Atari links. Let me test the parser. Let me clear the log. Test the parser. Now let me first save. Test parser. Yeah, now it finds, finds them. So let me generate it. So I remove my app list. Normally you don't have to do that, but I always do it. So generate app list and normally it should find, yeah. Here and now we have the, as you can see, the, the scraped images from uh, Emulation Station Desktop Edition. And if you go sec that's for the grids. And if you go sec select the posters, you see it will use also the images it found for the covers. Uh, normally, Steam uses a fixed resolution for these covers and a fixed resolution for these grids. For example, the covers are 600 by 900. And um, if you generate this up list, uh, so let me save it, you will notice um, it won't be optimal always, but it's better than nothing. So if I now start Steam, and I select my Atari Lynx library collection, so it should be somewhere in here, Atari links or something. Arcada one up, that's my uh, cabinet. Atari links, so here is Atari links. And it should display these covers, but as you can see, because the image is not exact dimensions of the dimensions Steam uses, it will have cut some of the of the data of the image. But as you can see, it, it looks fairly, fairly well. And the image you see here on the right, when I hover over it, is the cover image, the grid image. So it works now. I can boot a game normally. Let me try. And it should show up in the recent uh, image. Oh, there it has booted up. Let me clean it.
אני אבוא צ'ק, רום, לא שואל אבל זה שואו, there you can see recent game, אתרי לינקס, אימג' ואתה יש לך רצינת אימג'ס. אז אני אראה לכם עוד פעם לוקציה. אתה יכול לעשות את זה עבור כל... אז אני אקלו סטים. אני אקלו סטים רום מנג'ר. אני אקלט, אני אקלט, אני אקלט, אני לא יודע, אני אקלט את זה עם גיימבוי, אבל זה יקלט לי קטן איתי. אז אני אקלט את זה עם גיימבוי 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 גיימבוי. So let me enable it. Let me select my... Let me select advanced. Remove. I will, I will always do it because I only want the local media. So remove fuzzy title from online image query. If you don't do this, it will find uh, normally images for the games it, you don't have local media from. But then it, it looks inconsistent and I don't like that. Uh, so for the local images, go to the media folder, media, so in run media, here is my SD card, oh no, it's in the home directory, home emulation station, downloaded media, uh, which was it, Game Boy, so that's GB. Then the grids are my mixed images. Select that folder. Go all the way to the right and change final title to file name. So that's done. The local tall images. I will just copy paste it now. Oh no, it's easier. So we can go back to uh, Game Boy. It remembers it. Huh? Then you can select covers. Select cover. Change. Mix image. Change final title to file name. Oh, I removed one character too much and I cannot easily type it, so I will copy paste it. Okay. You can also provide a default image, for example, an icon. From your system, if you know an icon, you can use that. You can download them from screenscraper.fr for each system, but the site is really slow, so you can do it manually. Save your uh, configuration. You can test the parser to see if it finds any images. Yep. As you can see, it will search for fuzzy title, and that's normally what it search for, but we need to find the file name. So it will search for uh, for in one fun pack punt png. It has found. So let me check the generation. Let me disable Atari links. Preview. Generate up list. Uh, this might take a bit longer. The, the more ROMs you have, the longer it will take. I also have a problem with my main games. It are about 3,000 games. And uh, it doesn't like adding them to my uh, Steam. It doesn't work for my Steam, for my games there. So as you can see, you have the, 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 the grid and the cover. I'm not sure how it will look. Oh, that's wrong. The cover, I'm not sure how it will look. In, uh, in the Steam, but let's try it. So I remove my up list. I generate it. And I save it. Let's hope it works, because normally with too many pictures, it has a problem. Yeah, it worked. So let me close, I start Steam. I go to my library collections and I select the Game Boy library, Nintendo Game Boy I think it is. That's too far. Game Boy. 
So now let's see how it looks. That's the no, it got a problem. So it seems it didn't do something. Let me check again. But you get the idea. It's always the same. Uh, might have made a typo or something. Or it doesn't like the images. That's also possible. Let me check. Game Boy. Seven zip fuzzy no online search. Local images is the file name mix image. And uh, covers is also file name from Game Boy. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me try once more. Let me clear uh, all apps first. Okay. So generate app list. It has generated them. Let me check the posters. Yeah. It seems it does find them. Okay, and now save up list. I'm not sure if it shows a message if it has finished, but I think normally it doesn't. Ah, now it has finished. I was too early before. So let me close, start Steam, and then we can see the images normally. Go to my library, collections, uh, Game Boy. As you can see, it's not optimal eh, because Steam tries to resize the images and centers it. But at least you have some images. Eh? And for some systems, if they have a, a vertical cover, it works more. It works better than other games. But still, you can you can make you can see what it is, and you can also see the mixed image. You can see part of the screenshot and part of the Game Boy box. So I will also look show you how it looks in game mode. I hope my uh, recording it will still record. So I'm returning to game mode. It's still <coughs> going to game mode. Now it's starting Steam. Uh, how do you go to collections? You press here. Uh, library. Collections. Uh, Game Boy. And there you have your collections. If I select a game, let me. I never, never tried a running one. Adventure Island, play. Boots of Adventure Island, quit. And normally in the recent, if you go back to your home directory, there you see the recent game we started was Adventure Island. It's not op not optimal. Normally you should create 600 by 900 and the, the grid uh, size images, but at least you have something now. You can use it like this and it works more or less okay. Uh, so yeah. That was my first video related to the emulations, to the uh, Steam Deck, and more specifically to Emu Deck. I hope you liked it, and um, I hope it helps you. Bye.